I gotta do a volume check. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, Hello, everyone. How's your friend? It's, it's, <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible for other people, so. Uh, Alright, cool. That sounds like a one, two. I should have a, like, a siren next to me. And I can use that to test the, the maximum volume <laughs> I'm coming towards my microphone. So that people know, ah, yes, too loud. Well, me, I'm the people. Uh, me and editing, pretty much. So, anyways, three, two, one. That was a terrible clap. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the BNR stream today on this fine 22nd of April, 2024. Thank you, Margaret Visions, for the follow. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and we'll have a uh, well. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say very thanks, but I see that message there, and I'm like, oh, you, you, you held my follow ransom. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week has been very chill, but I know uh, pretty much from here on out, it's going to be... Wor oh my gosh, two of them! Two of them! This one didn't follow me, though. The second one didn't follow me. They're both first-time chatters, so... Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow, flexible, flexible, convenient order management panel. Like, I don't even know. How about let's dive into today's game, shall we? Shall we? Uh, da, 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 we're doing green sleeves, apparently, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so today we're doing some more Dragon Quest 2. Dragon Quest 2, the second Dragon Quest game, particularly the Game Boy version. Uh, in the last stream, uh, we pretty much, uh, went up a big tower, like, realized we went the wrong way, went back down, went the right way, and then... What a different way. Yeah, there's a lot of... I don't know. And then we also managed to go back to where the first game took place and find uh, Draco Lord's great-great-great-great-great-great-grandson and then when he was like, Oh, I kind of hate the, the big bad of this game. Would you like... Would you mind taking him out? So, sure. We're gonna do that. Um, and anyway, we are now just chilling and the, the boat is currently in the docks. Um... So I, I need to go get it, but uh, we've got a few things to do. Basically, we need to gather um, pretty much the five. Was it the five things? We need we need a bunch of things around the world, and uh, with the boat, we've basically got access to everywhere. Um, I think we go up. Sorry, <laughs> not that way. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're gonna uh, we, we'll see some things. We'll probably fight some mini bosses and. Uh, I'll probably cry a bit. Uh, the secret to where we need to go, the first place uh, we're recommended to go to is directly south. Um, you'll see it as you go. Maybe? Maybe? We're we gonna, we gonna witness it or? Well, I've, no, I've hit, the, I've hit the coast. I think we just follow the coast a bit. We'll find it. There we go. We find this wonderful island. And it has a, a tower on it. This is... Well, I, this guy might describe it. I have no idea where you may have heard about them. But are you trying to find the five seals too? Yeah? Seals are not objects. They are markings of the soul. In your strength, they are engraved. That's what I was told. Don't ask me what that might mean, though. Okay. We are here at the lighthouse. This is the, uh... The first of... Well, several places to go to. Um... Pretty much this lighthouse gets... Uh, smaller and smaller floors as you move up, but uh, until then, the first floor is pretty massive. Uh, but yeah, no, other than that, you know, we're fighting Gorgonzolas still. There's nothing really too fancy about the enemies we're fighting right off the bat, but we'll get there. I think this dungeon is fairly straightforward though. I don't think there's anything too weird going on. Is Art on full health? No. Come here with, like, not full health. Okay, well... I wasn't quite expecting to be able to go through the whole place on one go. Um... Pretty sure you go around the outside to start off. I don't think there's anything... There's a lot of dead ends. There's a lot... Oh, here we go. Here's some new enemies. Saber Tugger. Mummy Man and Enchanter. Maybe we're, uh, do I take out the Saber? I'll take out the Enchanter, because he's always mean. 
Okay, well, he didn't have much health, did he? That's actually our first, um, our first sighting of a, a Saber Cat. The, the sprite is a little different to how Saber Cats would look like in Dragon Quest V. And it's weird as well, because this is, like, this is the Game Boy game. It, this came out in 2000. They know what Dragon Quest V looks like. Dragon Quest VII was just about to come out. Um, so I don't really understand why, um, yeah, why, why the Saber Cat has to look like that, but, oh, okay, sure. That's probably what it looked like in the original version. Uh, so I believe we keep going around the outside. More gold Gonzales. Um, but yeah, no, I've had a pretty, pretty chill week. I've had a few games played, but I've actually spent a ton of time uh, diving into uh, more of Guitar Hero World Tour on the PS2's memory uh, in an attempt to develop a retro treatment set out of it. And the current status is... Um, I've got achievements and leaderboards pretty much working for clearing the campaign up until, well, just for the guitar, because I have to plot out uh, a course for pretty much all the campaigns, all the careers, so I've just done the guitar for now for testing. Um, and pretty much every song's five star, which seems to be pretty straightforward, so that's all good. Um, as well as the leaderboards for those, um, oh my gosh, I love hitting my enemies. Um, and that seems to be pretty straightforward. I, I sort of have been relying on the, the work of, um, this is a fight to behold. Oh my gosh, someone hit something. Wow, <laughs> oh my gosh, that took its time, didn't it? You got a repel, very nice. I like how I'm getting a lot of money, but it's like, I don't have anything to spend it on right now. So, uh, keep going around the outside, you gotta just keep going. Commit to it. We'll get there, we'll get there. Um, but yeah, the, the way, um, yeah, the, fortunately, you know, there's other Guitar Hero games, and even though the World Tour engine is fairly new and different, and it has a few unique things uh, about it. It's not too weird. It's not, there's not too much weird stuff going on. Um, so there's obviously still uh, an array of very useful data that allows you to know how much, you know, uh, money the player has earned in this level, um, or in, in, um, in this performance, in this playing the song, uh, how many points they've gotten, whether they're, they're about to die or not, in terms of the uh, rock meter. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of useful things that you can latch onto. Um, also, fortunately, the leaderboards and the uh, career progression are all in um, at least an array, so that's all good. That's nice and easy to use. Um, the painful part is that some of the career progression, or oh, it's not the career progression. It's more like global profile data. It's kind of weird, um, but stuff like the actual money, total money you've earned. Um, there's one static location which uh, is very consistent in indicating like how much money you've earned, except it only updates when you earn money. As in, it's a value that's just meant to placeholder be the amount of money you, you've lost gotten when you've updated it. But when you go to the store, it's not really the actual money you have, and if you've not played a song since starting up the game, then there's only one place where your money is stored, and that's in a linked list. A linked list is a fun uh, programming data structure where basically, instead of an array where all your elements are next to each other, although you may be wondering what's actually your array in this case, um, let's just say, like, integer values, because that seems to be what seems to be the case that's being stored here. There's just a bunch of numbers that are being stored. One of them is the money. Um, Sometimes, you know, you'll see people do, well, a lot of the time, hopefully, they're using arrays where it's just like somewhere in this block of memory, it's there, and it's always in that index. Or maybe it's moved in a different place sometimes, but, um, don't worry, these holes, it's just textures. Uh, I think we can walk towards the center now. And then we've got this kind of like inside part, and I think I need to, I think I need to test where the wall is. That's fun. Everyone likes a good Reaper, that's totally not going to one-hit kill Art. They hit hard, don't they? These guys really mean. 
Seriously, they're doing like 9 damage to Prince of Maidenhall. They don't have a lot of health, but they do take off a lot. And when they're in groups of 3, that's just ugh. But again, you know, we get more experience and we've got to heal more, which is probably a little premature. I don't think it's uh, too necessary just now, because like a regular heal heals you for um, the rulers at least 20. Oh, I love how I'm trying to find the entrance, but it's just there. We've got stairs there, but also I think there's a little exit up here. There we go, which leads to a chest. That gives you a bit of money, so that's all good. Now comes the fun part of trying to figure out which uh, staircase you need to go up. And the worst part is I think this carries over into multiple staircases. As in, like... It's not just, oh, I'm on the right floor, and it's not a dead end, it's like, I... Oof. They do hit hard, these guys, though. Um, so, meanwhile, a linked list, basically what it is, is that the elements are not necessarily just all next to each other. Um, the elements are in completely just independently defined nodes, and the idea is that each node uh, has a pointer that points towards the next node. So when you're trying to evaluate what's, you know, what are all the elements, you just follow the next nodes. You just keep following along until one of them says, I'm at the end, which is usually when they point to null. And that seems to be the case here. Um, why would you ever do a linked list? Well, it lets you rearrange things very easily. If you wanted to say, hey, I'm removing element 5 in my list of 10 things, in an array, you have to copy everything after 5 and move them all up 1. Um, in a linked list, you just tell element 4 to point towards element 6, which then cuts 5 out, and when you're iterating through the list, you just immediately go there. So that's probably why people use linked lists. When it comes to, uh, to this game, I don't know why. Honestly, the more things that you know ahead of time, um... I'll go through this this staircase. I'm trying to evaluate in my head, like, which one do we go to? Um, we got the stairs here. And, uh... I guess we got more stairs over here. I don't think this is really leading me anywhere. <laughs> no, because that, that was just right where it came up. So, how about no there? Um... Probably the staircase down here. Whoa. Some mean old dragonflies. Um, yeah, why exactly they're using a linked list? I'm really not sure because I would just imagine that storing things like. Um, I assume this linked list, it definitely has the total money you have, as well as also the total money you've earned, as two separate integer values. And they use like a, um, an ID, like they, as in, there's a 32-bit integer value right before it, to tell you that this node is indicating this type of thing, and I don't know what this number really indicates, but I see the same number right before the money every time. So I know I'm looking at the money, uh, if I evaluate that. So, keep that in mind. To know what node you're on... Also, very nice, an amulet. Can I actually equip that? Uh, I can. Because you don't actually... Well, I guess you can equip both, can't you? If only I could heal everyone, that'd be cool. Even though I can't use spells. Silly. Uh, I'm not expecting to... You know, get all the way through here. We just keep keep evacking, keep spending some time going through. Uh, this looks promising, maybe. Ah. Oh, we're getting some bigger dudes. Uh, but, yeah, this link list is probably storing other things, and I think very likely it's storing the details of which items in the store you've bought. Um, 
And this becomes a bit of a pain point of how exactly do you know what items in the store you've bought, other than, I guess, try to find the head of the linked list, which is usually in a consistent spot, and I found... I found the pointer for that, so that's all good. Um... But the problem is, like, in order to know in terms of retro achievements logic, and this is the, the biggest problem with, uh, the current amount of syntax that you have, retro achievements logic doesn't really let you, um, loop. So you can't just go through the linked list, find the right spot, and then go, yep, okay, that's what I'm using. Um, instead you have to basically assert that, uh, if I try to find the first element, assert that it's, uh, like, um, you know, the type is the right thing, and the, the value is, you know, what I actually expect. So, in terms of money, it's like, have I passed the certain value, um, for the money. Oh, look at that! The sickle? This is, a uh, a weak source weapon. This is just a generic sickle. Why would I want this? Alright, well, I guess we back up and we go to the bottom left staircase then. Just like a dragonfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How mean are these dragonflies, really? Uh, where are they on my list? Mm, I got 40 health, and that that breathing fire is certainly just mean, very mean. I don't think they're very defensive, and well, the experience is okay. But I don't know if, if it's really worth the um. Cause yeah, I've got 21 magic. Like I might as well just fail at this point, and then we try it again. <laughs> Return. Ah! Oh, we're back here. We'll give it another go. Give it another crack, and we'll actually sleep at an inn for once. <laughs> Welcome to well in. Is there any equipment that I can buy? Because I'm rolling in money right now. I don't know, or I just bank it. So you're the regular well, slot machine, sorry. <laughs> you're not a regular shop. Um I guess this wouldn't quite be the, the best weapons. I could I could get a steel shield. Do I not have? What is he holding? Hold on, what what is, what are you holding? Oh, he's using the sickle. What on earth? Are you using the sickle still? Because yeah, the Prince of Canic can actually wield a um a staff, and um hilariously in the um in the uh, original NES version of the game, the staff was the strongest weapon for him up until basically the last weapon of the game. Um, and even then that one's a little weird. Um, it's not the worst, the weird one, but it's just like, hey, he could do he could do better with a with his own wizard staff. Um, might as well buy the shield, I guess. But uh I wish I had uh more things. Yeah, I wish I had more things to, uh, buy and hold on to. Uh, sickle. But I guess that's a, you know, maybe a, a quirk about all the RPGs in general, is they had really low amounts of, like, items. Um, so your variety of, like, what you actually use is like, yeah, it's not really that high. Uh, oh, the the amulet, otherwise known as the Dragon's Bane, pretty much nullifies lots of effects. That's very curious that I've actually got one. Um, 
might be useful to have onto characters who do healing. Who knows? Um, but we'll just we'll just head back and we'll have another crack at this uh, this lighthouse. It's a bit of a stroll though, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so you have to basically assert that the first element of the linked list has the right type, and then the value has done the thing you want, or the second node, which involves finding the first node, and then looking at the next node, and then determining that this is the case. Or the third node, and you do both of that. Or the fourth node, and you do both of that. And you keep going on until you've sort of, uh, felt you've explored everything enough. Um, my gut feeling is this linked list doesn't exceed a hundred elements. But rem remember what I said of, I wanted to know if the player had earned more money in this last frame than the previous threshold, because otherwise, um, you know, they could load a save, because also I'm asserting that they're in a song, and that's easy, that's just like one extra line, but, uh, I want to make sure that they aren't just loading a save, um, or rather that they're, yeah, they're, uh, yeah, because if you, because if I say you're in a song, and your money is above the amount, well that just means, well, you could load a save with, you know, two billion dollars, and then once you get into a song, it triggers the achievement. I need to know that your money changed into something higher and before it was below the threshold, so that I know that you passed this threshold just now in the song. And that means that I need to now assert that the previous frame, the money node, was also, like, the expected value. And this is where it gets real dirty, because, as in my achievement logic. Because, remember I said, you, you can't assert... Like, sorry, you have to assert that the first node is the right thing, or the second node is the right thing, or the third node is the right thing. The linked list the last frame is not the same as the linked list this frame. And that's where we get very dicey, because it means now I need to know that the first node, if it was the money node, is it above the value, and in the previous frame is the first node the money node and less than the value. And then is the first node this frame, and the second node in the previous frame, or is the first node in this frame and the third node in the previous frame, and so on. I've now... <coughs> it's now a quadratic um, expression, where basically every node is being compared against uh, every node in the previous frame, and also I don't know where the node stops, so... Uh, it's painful, and it's so painful that it's actually impossible. Retro Achievements logic only lets you type in at most, well, serialize this, uh, you know, logic to at most 65,536 characters, uh, so 64 kilobytes. Um, trying to say this for 60, a depth of 60 linked list nodes is five and a half megabytes. Um, it probably would be a fair bit more, um, if I tried to really do the hundred, the full hundred. And also remember, uh, this is just to determine that the player surpassed a certain, um, a certain amount of money for a certain rank. There are 50, or there are 49 achievements I want to do, actually no, 50 achievements that I want to, uh, correspond to, which means there's five and a half megabytes times 50, and then it's like, eh, I'm just about to store 250 megabytes of text. I don't think they're gonna like that very much, so... The fallback is we rely on that other value. Remember the one I said that, like, it only updates once you do a song? And it's like, well, it's correct. It's just that it's not really your money, and I hope it doesn't change in any weird way. And I also, uh, when you start up the game for the first time, I have to, well, yeah, until you play a song, that value is zero, which means I need to sort of look at some other bits, which fortunately I know how much money a player earns in a song. So I can use that to then determine that they were below the threshold in the previous frame. I can use that, um, or rather, below the threshold now. Like, that's, that's the fun part, it's like, technically, it applies to any frame afterwards. Sorry, what, how do I phrase it? Technically, it applies all in the current frame, as in the current frame is aware of the previous value. Um, so that's, that's the fun part. But it's a bit painful, so. Um, 
I still have a few things to also work out. Uh, I have not added... I think I've added... I've, yeah, I've got the achievement logic to uh, make sure it doesn't fire achievements. Actually, I don't care about the money ones. I'm, I'm like, it's fine if you have cheats on for the money ones. It's, it's fine. But, um, yeah, to make sure that you don't have achievements or uh, cheats on to unlock the other achievements, that's there. I haven't yet figured out how to disable the achievements for multiplayer yet. I don't have the... The, the, um, the values for knowing whether you're playing in single player or multiplayer. I have one value which tells you how many players are in your band when you're in the band mode. But when you're in single player, um, that value might still be obsolete. Like, you can back out of the band mode with three players. So it still says three players. Um, so I need to find that one out. Um, also, I've been doing a little bit of art grabbing from grabbing the textures, um, but that's about it. But, uh, yeah, no progress. It's getting there. Oh, and I don't have custom songs done at all. Custom songs, I'm just like, eh. They don't behave the same, so... But we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, other than that, though, like, it's a lot closer to being done than, uh, you know... Like, I guess it's not a mystery. I can at least nail quite a handful of achievements just now. I just really want to try and do as much as I can and make sure there isn't missing content. Um, but, uh, yeah. No, that's my that's my ramble. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Um, retro achievements development is tricky. I really hope that they add in uh, variables into the logic because that would mean that the linked list... Um, can be implemented as, um, like, a, like, there's a, the value of the current position of the linked list can be stored and then go, and then is the, um, you know, is the value this and is it that, and then you change the, <laughs> change the variable and then check again, and you can actually do that all in one, one go, which means if they add just a simple, like, store a variable, I can actually implement this, uh, linked list thing, I think. We'll have to see. Oh, I just realized your health is kind of low. Art. But yeah, other than that, in the past week, I've been playing, uh, I actually did play the Nintendo 64 version of Quake 64, and, oh, Quake 2 64. And, um, I played Quake 2, like, a couple of months ago on stream, so, um, I don't think there was any reason to play specifically the Nintendo 64 port when the 2023 remaster has all the Nintendo 64 levels. Um, one thing I didn't realize was during those streams, I kept going, man, the music's quiet, isn't it? It's quiet in the actual game. It's barely audible. It's very weird. Um, uh, the other thing is, oh boy, Nintendo 64 controls. I, and I'm trying to play this with like a proper reproduction controller. So I'm trying to do the, um, the authentic thing. And, uh, that's, this controller, oh boy. It's not, it's not the worst control. it's, it's not a very bad controller, but the problem of Quake 2 64 is that the control stick has no, um, I guess, acceleration. If you play a, um, oh my gosh, and I guess a attack twice, oh, that's kind of mean. Um, if you ever play a first person shooter on a controller, pretty much one thing that's always going to be there is your analog stick is going to have some form of acceleration where when you start turning the stick your character is not quite moving at full speed and then they start to move at full speed um you know over time uh quake 264 does not it just goes it it floors it right off the bat um and uh this makes it very very sensitive even at the bottom sensitivity You'll still be turning around so fast in this game. It's just, it's wild how incredibly speedy you turn. Um, you could also use the analog stick as the movement, and then you use the C pad, uh, the C directions. Ooh, this is going to be a five and a half. Um, you can use the C pad for aiming, or the D pad for aiming. Um, it's got some nice control schemes to let you do, well, hopefully, the control scheme you want, but, uh,. Yeah, it sort of didn't quite feel right, so I ended up playing with D-pad on my left hand, stick on my right hand, and then kind of reaching over 
Um, Check that out, by the way, there's a staircase up here. I'm actually curious, is this the way to go? I think it actually might be the way to go. Oh. We're gonna fight some, some, uh, spooky enemies, or we'll be okay. Who knows? I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of weird. You have to hit A and B to swap your weapons, and then, um, uh, just like the, the 2023 remaster, it just uses items right away, you know, clock damage, pretty much that's it. Um, it's got all the weapons, and it's got a lot of the enemies. Not all of them. It doesn't have medics, which is actually a good thing. Um, and it, it, all those levels are as you, you know, as you saw in the, those streams. So if you ever want to see Quake 264, just go back for those streams. Um, I don't think I really missed anything other than I didn't get all the secrets. Um, a lot of the secrets are pretty just there, but you have to be looking for panels and things just behind, you know, doorways and on ceilings a lot of the time. That's where they usually hide them. Um, but it's not too bad. It's actually a pretty alright, like, console port. Um, a curious one, given that it doesn't recreate any of the levels. The PlayStation 1 version tries to, but the the Nintendo 64 version, it doesn't. So, so let's uh, look around here. We've got a fellow up here. For a long time, I've kept watching over Hagen's Temple from here. It's in the middle of the continent, on a plateau far above the clouds. That plateau is Rome. However, mortals would never be able to even set foot in Rome. I heard of a man who sailed around the world in hopes of finding a way into Rome, but it was all in vain. He lost heart and quit in despair. Huh. Interesting. Is there something else on this top floor, or...? Apparently no enemies. Or... Oh. This, this is gonna be a, a doozy of a fight, isn't it? These undead, man, they are, they are mean hitters. They are not fun. Uh, I can actually use her for, um, cast on the wizard, on the gremlin. So yeah, I think these, uh, these undeads have, like, 65 health, which is, it's a mean amount. It's a thing, I think it's just there at the top. Well, okay. We go back down. Darn cheaty door. Oh well. Uh, but yeah. Also, uh, the, uh, the retro achievement set, um, was pretty normal. It was just like, play, you know, play every level on hard, and then, um, Try to get all the kills on hard, and try to get all the secrets. Um, pretty normal, really. Um, and the game is forgiving in the sense of like, well, it saves your stats at the beginning of a level, and then if you die, you just get to do that again. It did mean the, s the third or the second last level, absolute dog. Absolute dog level. It had just so many enemies right off the bat. Um, and, uh, it, that was the one with the moving platform at the beginning, so it wasn't even, like, there was no safe place. It was just, it was just all, all danger. It was, it was very, very annoying. Um, but other than that, uh, it's Quake 264. The, um, yeah, so the achievement set also had, uh, one for doing the bonus level. And I didn't even realize, yeah, the bonus level kills you if you, um, spend more than a minute 40. Which is what it says is, like, a part-time. But it's just... Amazing, because it's like, oh, now I can't aim. 
and I gotta do it in that time. And then they tell you, can you do it with the blaster? I'm like, no! No, you can't. You can't do it with the blaster. Uh, okay, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do they go? on the outside, huh? Take out the undead in one go. Oh! Crit! Hey, there we go. Easy money. Because these magic ants don't have a ton of health, so. But they do hit kind of hard. I just want more armor, man. I just want more armor. door, and now, we're, oh, psh, having, a, having another encounter, ah, oh! I gotta fight him, because otherwise if I don't fight him, I'm just dead, you know, like, I mean, I'm, they're gonna hit me, and then I just completely die, and it's not the worst if I die, but it is just gonna kind of be annoying, for the money, because you gotta res people, it's just, ugh. oh, okay, there's three of them, ouch, Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, other than that, it's mostly just been, um, chill. I've been working through, uh, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas again. That's like, San Andreas is like my Skyrim. I, I go back to that one just over and over again. Um, as well as I've been very nearly at the end of uh, doing my full combos for Guitar Hero 2. And then uh, that's it. That's all the games I've been playing. Um, nice and chill. Nothing really too weird going on, but uh, I think it's good to have uh, you know, a set of a repertoire, a set of things that you're still working through and playing through. Oh. Hi there. Oh. Interesting. hard enough, he won't live. The undead was dead. And then the Gorgonzola- at least the Gorgonzolas don't hit very hard, so I don't view them as a threat, really. But, yeah, ugh. I did play a little bit more Chrono Cross. I- I really needed to get back into Chrono Cross. I'm, uh, defeating dragons, uh, but I haven't played too much of it, so... But, uh, yeah, no, I put it down for like two months, and I'm like, where is anything? What, are, what am I doing? I just know I gotta go find dragons, so... Uh, yeah. But, uh, someone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you put it down either so early or so late in the game. And I'm like, I know, I know, I'm sorry. There's still a part of me that's like, ah, oh, there's another disc. Stop! There's no need to talk. I know what you wish to say. Travelers, follow me. I will take you to the seal. Oh, thank you. goes. Oh, he didn't he didn't make this easy, did he? Oh, he really didn't make that easy, did he? <laughs> Why would he do this to me? Thank you. Wandering off, it's a quick man. Uh, undead because he hits hard. That's that's who I target. Uh, yeah, 
Um, I would like to mention one one great thing uh, on the internet, and that is uh, Ubisoft have uh, released on Steam the Crew Motorfest. This game was originally, I think, an Epic Games exclusive at Epic and Uplay or Ubisoft Connect. I don't know what it's called. Um, oh, Warpwing, very nice. Um, used to be exclusive there. It's now on Steam. This comes weeks after Ubisoft pulled. They took down the servers and then removed from people's libraries on Ubisoft their copies of The Crew. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, so if you if you are the proud owner of The Crew, which I am, you, want, you aren't able to play the game because Ubisoft just said, nah, we don't want it anymore. Now, the earlier a game, I'm, I'm a little more sympathetic to the amount of dev work it takes in order to make a service like this stay up forever. Um, just not saying they shouldn't, but I'm saying I'm sympathetic that there is more work that needs to be done. It's not trivial of just, server is up, what do you mean? Because if it goes down, it's like, ugh, open the chest, okay. It was empty. Kikiki, got you, gullible fools. That chest will be your coffin. Oh. Man, I should have I should have noticed. <laughs> so now we're gonna fight these gremlins, and annoyingly they are in groups. Hopefully, I'm able to take him out. Gremlins don't have as much health as uh, the undead, so fighting four of these is hopefully not too bad. The breathing fire is going to be my death now, though, I tell ya. Um, let's do a heal. Yeah, this might be the last heal I can actually pull off. Uh, I guess I can heal more, but... Let's, let's just go in for... Oh, let's, let's go in with the wizard. Nice. Oh, there's two of them. I might have to just go in hard. Just take him out. You know, I'm actually okay with that, I guess. Like, that's using a turn, and then I get a free hit. There we go. We did it! We lived! And everyone got experience, and everyone's happy. Also, they actually had the seal, so you did have to sit through this in order to, uh, to, well, to get it, so, there you go. Let's cast some heal mores. I think I did miss a chest. I did miss a chest, so I'm gonna have to find that chest again. I believe you can just hop off the... Unfortunately, I think that chest is, like, on the third floor. So I gotta kind of do the walk again. But I've got just enough for an evac and uh, and an outside, so I'm okay. Oh, the saving tigers on this floor. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ubisoft are not really in my good books right now. Um, this is this is how I how I casually. Um, What's the... Uh, I, I always have this, like, um, weird... Well, it's not a relationship, because no one, no one in the gaming industry really knows me. I'm not, like... It, this is, this is your, your update. Blendo is a proud, not sponsored or anything by anyone. Literally, I just play these games for fun. Um, I always find this, like, interesting when there's, like, influencers or... Um, I guess even journalists. Um, just people on the internet who are sponsored and paid for by the things that they really should be okay to criticize a little bit, but sometimes, uh, well, I mean, very often, if you are sponsored by something, you can't trash talk it, or you have to tiptoe around certain lines of discussion, because that's, it's in your contract to avoid certain things, or else you don't get paid. Um, that's a classic if you ever get, um, uh, like sponsored to do Raid Shadow Legends. They do a lot of, like a lot of people get a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship. And um, which makes me wonder, it's like, man, they must make a shocking amount of money. And this is not a rip of 
Raid Shadow Legends, or really anyone in particular, for doing this. It makes perfect sense that if you're doing a sponsorship, you know, it's... No company is going to want to sponsor someone who's just going to absolutely lambast the product and then somehow still promote it. It's like, no, oh, like, you know, you, you basically go, oh, you can't say certain things because that's going to, you know, put things off and... I, I get it. Um... But yeah, it depends on, like, as a user, it's like, how do we... Well, sorry. As a person who plays video games, um, just for funsies, uh, I really want, like, authentic and genuine people on the internet. And I find that... I mean, it makes sense that someone who plays video games, and then being advertised other video games, it makes sense. It's like, oh, you know, people who watch games are generally people who play games and buy games, so that totally makes sense as a market. But it does mean that, like, you know, you're basically advertising on someone else's space. And I think a lot of games companies, uh, basically have to go, you can't say bad stuff, because, you know, that's, that's, well, I guess everyone does that for sponsorships, but what am I trying to get to? What I'm saying is that if this was like a drink, if I was sponsored by like Oak Chucky Milk, for example, I like me my Oak Chucky Milk. I really do. I'm not sponsored by them, but I like them. Um, I always find it's weird. Every time I have like, I get like a, a <laughs> go to like a two liter bottle of Oak Chucky Milk throughout the week. Um, this is this is your, you know, the blender drinks a hundred liters of Chucky Milk in a year. Um, but, uh, every time I open up a fresh pack, it's always just like, hmm, how, how, what's the flavor like? Sometimes it's strong, sometimes it's mild. I don't know, it's just, just kind of fun, I guess. Um, but, uh, like, if I was sponsored by chocolate milk, you know, I would feel a lot more okay not trash-talking the chocolate milk, even though I do like my own. Um, but, like... You know what I mean? It's like, I don't have to feel like I'm tiptoeing around because I'm being sponsored by something, like, in a different field to the thing that I'm playing and the thing that I like criticizing. Like, I don't- I, I'm not good at criticizing food, I guess. I guess it would be kind of weird if, like, you know, I- what's the term? If Oak Chucky Milk gave me, you know, bad indigestion or something, like, constantly. It's like, and then I have to promote it, it's like, okay, that, that would be one where it's like, I'd feel a conflict of interest. But, yeah, when it comes to, like, video games, and especially, like, yeah, a, a lot of video, game, video games, it's like, I'm, I'm one to, like, critique a lot. A lot of video games, you know, do deserve attention. A lot of video games, um, don't necessarily deserve your money, or don't necessarily deserve all the money they're asking, or the time that they're asking for. Um, there's a lot of that, but you're not really allowed to say that if you're sponsored. I guess it depends. It really does depend on, like, who you're sponsored by and what's in your contract. So I can't, I can't blanket statement everything. But, yeah, like, to me as a viewer, I feel like there is this, um, this clash where basically I do, you know, like, these people want to keep the lights on. I completely get it that there's a lot of streamers who do want to make sure that the what they're, you know, doing, you know, gives them a living. Because, I, I mean, I, I realized early on, it's like, the amount of, the amount of money anyone makes from streaming anything is, uh, I guess it's a quadratic, or at least, you make more money per viewer, the more viewers you have, if that makes sense. Um, so... And that means that the actual threshold of making a living is, like, is crazy. You will pass that threshold and then you'll exceed it really fast, um, depending on who you are. Um, like, I, I mean, I know people mention Mr. Beast, but it's just like, there's some big streamers and it's just like, yeah, like, you know, they can afford, like, luxury cars and, like, mansions and stuff like that. Maybe not mansions, that's, that might be a stretch. A stretch. But it's like, for me, it's like, you know, like, like, I, I, I'm always curious about car prices, and then it's like, oh, like, you know, I gotta inquire to know about Aston Martin prices, and, like, even with all my savings, you know, there's so many cars, and I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to afford this. Um, or at least if I never spend anything on anything, I might be able to afford this at some point in my life. But it's like, it's like, that is years of salary, 
absolutely like years of salary that would have to go into buying a car. And it's like, do I find the value in that? Um, not now. Not, not, not at this moment. I don't find the value in, in uh, something like that just now. So. Uh, but some of these people can afford this kind of stuff. And, you know, power to them. I'm, I'm not saying they don't deserve the money. But it's like, there's, it's a very, like, easy window of, uh, I love how it's been 15 minutes. I've just been, like, in this one dungeon. We're nearly out. We're nearly out. Oh, this is where I get, like, completely wrecked by something. Um, can I one-hit these? Ooh. Almost. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're, all, we're almost at the, at the chest, I think. Should have gone and gotten this one. Uh, it's down. It's down here. It looks weird. There we go. 727G. And then it keeps going a little bit, I think. Is this like a, a, an MV thing? I think, I don't, ultimately my point was not necessarily how much money these creators make, but more like the, the means, the actual like, what are they actually, you know, promoting and what are they saying? And it's like, there are things where it's like, really? Like, okay, really? I don't know, I, as someone who personally doesn't really enjoy mobile games, and this is not like a, like a, you know, like a big stand. This is just a, you know, I only have so much time to play the games that I really want to care about. Um, and I choose to pretty much never do a mobile game because of that. Um, so if I ever got a sponsorship from a mobile game, it would be very odd for me. Because it's just like, I personally can't vet the game. All I can just be like is, is you know, hey, here's a game. Here's Raid Shadow Legends. Here's, uh... I don't know, what's a mobile game of the now? Oh, okay, we are just... we are gonna get completely wrecked over. Ouch. Ouch. Um, <laughs> I gotta take out these undeads first, man, I tell you. Um... But yeah, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I, uh, I guess my ultimate point is, I, I, I personally don't like promoting things that I can't actually personally vouch for, and, um, and for reference, there has been zero promotion on this channel so far, or at least paid promotion that's just been like, hey, I like this, that's about it. Um, I sort of soft, like, it's not, it's not really a promotion, but just like everything on this channel that I've played. Uh, for the most part, I've enjoyed quite a fair bit, and I would recommend these games to people. Like this game, I like it. There you go. The Life Acorn, this was very important, I'm glad I went all the way here. Just so I could grab a Life Acorn, and then give it to... No. Gives her a bit more max health. Okay, let's, uh, let's get the heck out of here. Let's just do an out, uh, a return. He's gonna now put me back at the right spot. But yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a trek. But uh, ultimately, you know, you gotta you gotta get that one seal. So we got one seal. I hope you enjoy your stay. I 
I guess I hope I will. Now, uh... If you're on the NES version, I cannot tell you how you actually find... Like, where you're meant to go. I think the trick is, um, and we'll, we'll find it on the overworld. Also, you're sort of meant to take a stab in the dark where exactly you even are. Um, like, meant to go, because no one really tells you where to go now. Um, but I think the trick is, uh, if we go to... Who's got, who's got the map? You've got the map. So if we look at the map, you'll see that uh, we've pretty much explored everywhere around this, like, northwest part. And also, the northern continent was pretty much just the starting area of the game. Um, so pretty much, uh, your main spot to look at is uh, maybe some of these side islands. Um, and there's one of them, which is a very neat place to go to. So we'll head over there right now. Uh, also, the world map like loops around. So uh, if you head far enough left, you come out of the east side. And if you head far enough north, you come out of the south side. You know, like the real world. But yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with on, on this kind of stuff. And also, I'm trying to remember, what was the original stimulus for this? I don't know. There's one streamer who I, I pay attention to sometimes, and uh, yeah, she had a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship, and I was just like, you're not even playing Raid... Actually, she did play a little bit of Raid Shadow Legends. But then it's just like, you're playing like other things, and then it's like, you've still got the Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship. Um, I know JonTron has had a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship. What was the sponsor on the newest video? Oh, my left hand's kind of cramping up. From, uh, from all the Guitar Hero. It's like, ugh. Too instinctive. So here we are, we have a fun continent over here. Let's, uh, hold on, let's check the map again. Where are we at? It's not much, uh, sailing one side to get to the other. Oh, we're all the way at the top end of the continent. Okay. Um, I, I believe there is, uh, actually, uh, there's something we can check out just now. Just while we're up here. I'm not sure if we, uh, if we'll get something out of it now, but I'm just like, hey, I'm right here. See, the music is so good. Oh, moral is, uh, the crew motor fest. Crew motor fest. Um, Ubisoft is not in my good graces. Uh, it feels weird, I guess, like, if I was, if I was ever sponsored by anyone and Ubisoft, it's like, oh, I would hate, like, having to say, oh, I'm sorry, Ubisoft, I'm sorry, Ubi Booby. Um, hi there. How you doing? I am an oracle. Have you obtained the evil statue? No. The evil statue sleeps deep in a cave in the middle of the sea. Only those bearing the moon shard may enter that cave, however. Visit the village of Tun. If I say yes, he's like, then proceed to the southern foot of Rhone's Mountains. Enter the swamp and raise the evil statue to the heavens and a miracle will come. Okay, good to know. Really good to know. I'm glad I went here because uh, he's dropping some, some hints for a bit later. But it's good to know now. So let's follow this continent south. Uh, it's going to be a bit, but we'll get there. Oh my gosh, hi there, Hawkman. Isn't that the Marvel superhero, Hawkman? And he can heal. How much health does a Hawkman have? A Hawkman has what a Hawkman walk, and a Hawkman walks where a Hawkman flies. Where is he in this list? Where actually is he in this list? Huh? He's got 60 health. Unchanged in the remix. We still got quite a handful of enemies that we haven't even seen like reskins of yet. So here we go, we're almost there. We've got like this other kind of continent up here. And then this was a uh, nice. We're gonna have a real basic- Yeah, the rats! The rats back! 
<laughs> I was like, this is this is the starting concept. We're gonna have some real basic enemies just show up. Yeah, absolutely nothing. So this was the uh, the shrine we saw earlier, like the very very first one. And this guy is just like, oh, I've been waiting for you, dear prince. Hear me out, please. There are two kinds of keys. Yes, thank you for. It. Yes. And we still don't have a way to open these, so... Did I go here last stream? I don't know. So, uh, we got this little tiny island, and this tiny island, and they're, they're both irrelevant tiny islands. Ooh. Medusa Eye. Pretty sure I can kick these guys' butts pretty easily. Yeah, they're not too bad. But they are the, um... The weaker versions, technically, I think, of the, uh, of the Gorgon. But they have more health, but I don't think they do anything that mean, so... There we go. Very nice. So keep going, and, uh, you'll make your way to this, like, continent? But you want to circle around it. We want to s somehow land here. And uh, there's only one entry. And I'll find it eventually. Whoop. We are going to find these uh, Medusa eyes all over the shop. Um, yeah. Uh, like, I... Yeah. Okay, for, for me ripping on Ubisoft, I mean, they deserve it. But they're also not unique in this aspect. And I want, like, any representative who's, like... I work at a game company, it's like, me as a- me as a consumer, I hate this. I hate what has been done with the crew. I really, really hate it, and I especially think it's such a sour taste to then get ads for the Crew Motor Fest on Steam. Because it's just like, what is the- the reasoning that, like, I- and- and for reference, it's like, I get it if you have a limited licensing for your game, and you can't sell it because it's got music or cars or something, and you're only allowed to have it for so long. Again, I don't like it, I get it, but it's just like, I really wish that wasn't the case. Like, why? Why? It's because sales are slow. It's like, oh my gosh, okay. So here we are, we are at this island. Hopefully we don't see anything. Ah, it's a tree! Ah! The tr the, I think this is actually the stronger version of a tree. We haven't, have we seen the regular tree? I don't know if we have. It's not too bad on the time, to be honest. Welcome to the town of, uh... Oh, we got there. Hold on. Are you going into the stadium? Don't treat your life cheaply. Bro, I treat my life very cheaply. This is the Battle Square, the stadium for warriors. Oh, I love to see people battle. Hey there. I welcome you to Osterfair. I am the king. If you could amuse me, I will reward you with a grand prize. Well, uh, not at the moment. <laughs> we'll keep wandering around because this is technically a town. And we might find some cool weapons. And we might be able to walk into this... No. <laughs> We're not able to walk into that door just yet. But we'll keep exploring around. There'll be some cool stuff. Hey there. Our king likes to watch battles in the stadium. A bit... Too much so. He made a traveler fight a saber lion recently. The man was badly hurt. Poor, poor guy. These look like doors, but they're not. They're, well, I guess they're windows. Great town, by the way. It's just like, yep. Mm hmm. The town's somewhere out here. We also got one of these wonderful warps. Where does this put you? <laughs> well, it puts you in a place that you can't open the other side, so very nice. And another door that I can't seem to open. Huh. Wow. It's just cannot leave. Cannot get out of here. Oh, 
Well, I guess we'll have to do the fight then. It's weird, there's, <laughs> there's definitely a shop somewhere in here. Maybe it's because I entered from the side. Maybe that was it. Okay, I will fight. Let's step into the stadium. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's coming at me. <laughs> this is a saber lion. It's a little stronger than the than the saber wolf, saber tooth we fought earlier. It hits Nana kind of hard, but uh, I mean, whatever's a boss in this game isn't really much of a boss. Yeah, like <laughs> it's not too bad, but it does hit kind of hard, so. That wasn't fun. Great, great, you're marvelous. You deserve to be rewarded. Take this, the moon seal from you. I expect greater success. Well, that's another seal, I guess. Do we go south? Oh, we do. Yes. Here we are. So I assume church. Yep, the echo flute is said to be the singing of elemental spirits. In castles, towns, caves, towers, and shrines, play the echo flute. A seal is near if an echo answers. Incidentally, because well, oh, okay. I'm glad that that's actually a bit of a bit of a hint as well, because we can actually use the echo flute. You know, this one. There's no echo because we, we've got the seal. So. How useful is that? I don't know. I'm looking for a Gaia armor. I heard rumors that the weapon shop owner has one stashed away. Hmm. Well, let's check his uh, his weapon shop. Storage server. Oh, thank you. That'll be great for later. Okay, what has he got? So he's got the dragon. The dragon. Uh, this is the dragon's bane. Um, now only Bundo can can hold this, but uh, this is actually uh, you know a very very good weapon. Also a helmet. Wow, that's okay. Those are the only two things I can actually buy. It. But dragon's bane, definitely. And uh, I might as well buy the helmet, because it's like, what else am I buying? And I can de-equip the other things. I, oh, do I de-equip the Lotto Sword? Uh, no, I think the Prince of Kanna can actually hold this. So hold on, let's give it to him. He couldn't hold this in the NES version, but I'm pretty sure he can do it now. There we go. It's better. It's better for slapping people with. Did I not have a helmet before? Oh, I didn't buy the helmet yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, yeah, I did buy the helmet. Yeah. Did I really not have a helmet on? I must not have, no. Oh, well. Okay. Well, there goes most of my money, but it'll be worth it. Hi right, there. Uh, let me give you a trekking tip. Don't carry around too much stuff. The things you don't need, sell, discard, or put them in storage. That is a good tip. On the night of the storm, a ship sank with its cargo of treasures, and the cargo was the echo flute. Yes, I know that. I'm a fortune teller. Seeking something, are you? Yeah. And I will read your future. Woof! Hmm, west! What you seek is in the west! You may choose to believe or not. What a good hint, I guess. Other than that, I think we're pretty much it. I mean, there's the... Oh, I guess we got an in. Oh, it's starting to get pricey. Oh, what's going on over here? They've kept me here ten years. Let me tell you a little secret. Want to find the gold key? A man, Tarn, who lives on the far southern island of Zahan, has it. Hmm. That's definitely where we need to go because, uh... I mean, look, we need the key, don't we? We need to have more keys, so... Well, let's go find this island. Fortunately, I don't think it's very far. But it is a bit of a weird kind of trek. Oh my gosh. 
Forkman, Warlock, and Yas. Fortunately, I think with the Demon Sword, as well as also, um, Prince of Kanek using the Lotto Sword, I think we should be able to deal quite a lot more damage than we had before, so that's all good. Oof! Oof! Okay, don't, don't skimp on the Warlocks. The Warlocks will kick your butt real hard. That's not fun. That's not fun at all, getting hit that hard. Wow. And then barely being able to hit things, oh my gosh. Yep, okay. Okay. Good to know that... <laughs> very easy to die up here, apparently. Okay, well. Time for a bit of a heal more. On everyone. There we go. Okay, now we can continue a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm salty about it, you be booby. I'm sorry. Who sponsor me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I would accept sponsors, uh, sponsorships. I don't know. I don't really feel it. Because it's just like, I don't really play these games. Well, I don't do streams very often, so I feel like if someone's gonna be like, We're sponsoring you, and it's like, yeah, you're gonna get like, two hours of someone saying some stuff. Like, just keep that in mind. And then it's also like, what do you want me to say? And also, am I going to be like, do I agree with it? Because I guess that's the thing, is that... Ultimately, you as a, as a, a content creator can be a little bit choosy as to like, what actually, you know, you're able to say and do with your content. I especially feel that if you have enough of a platform where someone is like, Hey, yeah, I'm very willing for you to, like, you know, to, uh, you know, please take, take our money a bit and promote this one thing. And you can be, like, as honest and brutally honest as you want. Like, just saying it is, like, enough because you're so famous. You know what I mean? Like, that would be very ideal. Because it's just like, in, in theory, that does work. If you are very famous saying a certain brand over and over and over again, even if... You don't really, you know, you don't really use it. I think that works. I don't know if I'm going quite the right way. I'll check the world map right after this. We're getting there. So, <laughs> so what is there to get excited about um, in terms of what's happening soon? Um, it is Anzac Day and Australia Day coming up this uh, Thursday. Um, so be be well. I guess you know, all pretty much all Australians for the most part get the day off, unless you know you work on public holidays. Uh, oh, it's a little further, and actually a lot further. It's still. <laughs> Still even further. This is not where we need to be. Because that's just a little tiny island. It's still further. Somewhere over here. Really catches you out this one place. There we go. Welcome to the port of Zahan. All the men are out fishing now. All the men, you say. When I get big, I'm going to be a great fisherman, just like my dad! Capital D. Oh my gosh, townspeople. I'm Tan's wife. My husband loved animals. He especially loved dogs. Three years ago in the winter, he never returned from fish- Oh, I was praying for our men to return safely. So what happened to Tan would never happen again. Oh, that's sad. In the spring, my boyfriend Luke is coming back from fishing. Oh, Luke. No, a secret. Grandma said there is a cave in the sea surrounded by corals. To get into the cave, you have to have a moonshot. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Wherever it is. Is it an info? Yeah. Look at that! Who's holding on to a moonshot? I like how the, the key items are just there. Well, that's good that we've got that done in that order. Welcome to my item shop. 
Uh, I believe, yeah, we've got uh, an amulet for everyone, so this will definitely be nice to have. There we go. Now we can uh, equip. I could probably sell the um, the staff because I'm not going to use that the wizard staff that I just bought just before. Didn't I buy that like just a moment ago as well? Oh, there you go. Time the money. Up the stairs we go. Hello, women. When the night is lit by a moonshot, the sea does rise. It's an old, old saying in this town. Even while the men are out at sea fishing, we women are still busy. We still have to take care of our darling children, too. Okay, sure, I guess. That makes sense. Wah! That dog barks and pulls my sleeve. I'm scared of it. Wah! Hi there, doggy. Arf, arf, arf. Arf, arf, arf. What are you looking at? So if you press A here, this is the gold key! It's just chilling here, why not? You know? It's the whole reason why we came here. To get a key. Well, this lady is gonna absolutely warn us. Turn back, misfortune will fall upon anyone desecrating the temple. And uh, that's a fairly wise words to live by, especially because you can clearly see there's, there's a gate key I can't even open, so there's no point really going right in. Uh, we've got a bunch of clues, and we've got the gold key, which is very nice. So, I had a... It's wonderful, there are almost no men here. Wonderful. Really wonderful. Pfft. Listen, I have terrible news. The fish boat carrying the men of this town was sunk by monsters. I came to deliver that word. But my goodness, how should I? Oh. Oh, no. Looks like someone's gonna have to continue the lineage. It's not me. <laughs> uh, so, okay, uh, let's uh, continue on. We've actually got this fun little shrine right here as well, which we can uh, we can observe. And what's in the shrine? Where does this one put us? Oh. Oh yeah, this is the uh, this is the one in the starting world. So if you want to go real quick across across the whole continent, well, I don't know if it's really that worth it. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's here, I guess. This is the tiny island. It's just here the whole time. Now, there you go. Now you have your tiny island. Let's now wander a bit back uh, northwest. Oh boy, Gargoyle. Oh, lizard flies aren't actually that bad. What am I, what am I kidding? They might be a little bad, but they're not that bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, in the, in the, um, what else is going on in the world? Uh, hardware is kind of interesting. I keep talking about hardware kind of often, but we've had, like, all the big releases. Um, so it's mostly just the rumors and the anticipation for the next gen releases. Uh, as well as also, what is happening with current releases? Uh, so I think this is... is this where we need to be as well? Here? World map? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, uh, look at this, it's like, oh boy. Oh boy. We got three warps. It's gonna take a fair bit of time to go through each one. I'm not- oh wait, hold on, I got the gold key, I can open this. Hey! Ah, so that's the gold key, let me borrow it! I wanted to try just once what a Traveler's Gate trip felt like. Ah yes, here's your gold key. See you again! Okay. So where was this? This was, uh... Where was this? <laughs> 
because we're going to all these places. Oh, that was all the way up here. Okay. And he's, he's, he's a goner. He's, he's out of here. At least you can, you know, open this door, I guess. To the next warp. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess the big story right now with computer hardware is um, there's quite a bunch of reports of um, people on, I guess, Intel 14900Ks especially. This doesn't look like it's any different, but it is different. Hagan's temple evokes soothing calm and all those who enter it, but it's a mirage. Don't be fooled. Seek a guidance from an elemental. Okay. Tush isn't as great. Those traveler's gates should take you to some exciting places, but there's no getting at them if you don't have the gold key. Where the heck could it be? This seems like this is an earlier place. Again. Uh, I don't think we even wandered over here, technically, but good to know. Good to know. Also, that was the middle portal, so where's the left one gonna go? Those three gates turned into f five gates. Or six, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Where are we now? Well, that's fun. <laughs> Hi. Oh, this is, um, this is the, yeah, okay, hi. This is the tunnel joining the two continents, isn't it? Yeah, I don't even need the map. This is, this, we've already been in this tunnel. Why do you need a gold key to get out of here? You clearly need the boat in order to get to the other side. Oh, I guess it's to prevent you from getting in. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And they wanted to have a very clean place on this side, so... What else we got going on on this end? Um, but yeah, no, 14900K owners uh, have noted, and then this apparently applies to the 14900KS, and then also people figuring this out on the 13900K, which it's a little weird that, like... If this applies to the 14900K this soon, how come this hasn't applied to the 13900K until just now? And as a 13900K owner, um, I'm fortunately a bit exempt from this right now. Well, not exempt, but like it hasn't happened to me yet. And I think I have a, a good reason. Um, but what people are finding is that their chips are degrading real hard. They're getting stability issues when it comes to some games. And um, what's the problem? Well, I think the problem basically lies from... Um, Basically, every motherboard runs overclocked out of the box. They remove the power limits and they go, Oh, yeah, no, we can run 100 megahertz higher and have the V-Core at like 1.38. And it's like, what is going on there? Um, so, uh, so a lot of um, Intel Core i9s from 13th and 14th gen. And maybe this applies to 12th gen? I've not seen it happen to 12th gen. But I feel like, in theory, this would really happen with any chip, if it's being run like that. That just seems insane. Oh. Check it out. Hey, can I grab that? If you are truly a hero of Lotto's blood, prove it with Lotto's seal! Be gone, you fool! Oh, dang it. You don't have that seal. And where are we? Oh, we're in... We're in the, uh, starting world. Or well, the first game. Okay, cool. It's good to know that's here. In a little heart-shaped land. Okay, we've had a few places to look at. Uh, none of them really have anything more to see, but it's good to know that you can warp around the place and see some stuff. Here we go. Let's get the heck out of here and then uh, continue on a bit. <laughs> oh, everyone's favorite enemies. These are the basic ones, so they're actually not that bad. So if we keep going a little bit across here, we should come across this wonderful 
tree that's just here. And if you press A on it, you can find the world leaf. The world leaf uh, is uh, later translated in other games as the Yggdrasil leaf. Uh, this is the tree of Yggd Yggdrasil. Uh, that starts with a Y. It's such a fun name to say. Uh, but this is your one revive. You can revive people uh, freely with this one item. But you only get it once, and if you ever use it, you have to go back and pick one up again. Which is actually kind of cool. I like that mechanic. That's good fun. Um, and it's right next to the warp, so... Hey, if you, you're somehow connected to this network of warps, you'll be able to find it, so that's all good. Um, so yeah, so uh, Intel Core i9s are uh, running out of the box insane. And I, like, I have always thought this is not a good thing for board manufacturers to run insane overclocks out of the box. Not insane, because insane is like it dies. I don't know, dying in a, a few months is actually kind of insane. Um, but ultimately, all this is is to try and be like, hey, our motherboard is so good. Your processor will run great on it. But, like, obviously, the long term stability of your processor is not going to be known for months, and then months later down the line, it's way too soon, because it really should be, one, not dying at all, but most importantly, it really shouldn't be dying in, like, five years. I feel like a processor should not be breaking in five years. I know warranty is so much shorter than that, but, like, it really should be lasting longer. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, a lot of these motherboards run these overclocks out of the box, and it's not healthy, and people don't know. People really don't know. But, uh... You know, well, they don't know any better. And also, I guess some processes do last. It's not like we're all dead. Uh, here we go. We've got a town over here. I could have sailed a bit closer. But I wanted to see the... <laughs> the Goopy! My favorite enemy, the Goopy! The Goopy! Nobody like a Goopy. This is a lot of enemies to deal with, isn't it? Uh, the Goopies have about like 50 health, so it might take a bit. And they also might call for support, which is also going to be a bit mean. I want to take out them Goopies. I don't like no Goopies. It's not really a new, like, phenomenon as well, but it is, like, odd that people are, and, and I guess the question is, how many people are actually affected by this? Because me, as an actual 13900KF owner, I am not affected yet, but I do run with my details turned down. I particularly turned the power limit onto 253 watts. I also... Arf, arf, there's a doggy. So with the key, by the way, we can actually wander into this place, because uh, this would have been walled off. And this is this fun little underground town. Welcome to the town of Welgar. We are south of Rhone's foothills. We built our town under the under the ground to avoid Hagen's curse. Very nice. We're gonna have a bunch of stuff here, as well as also a bunch of items that I'm like, oh, look at that. Another sword. That's even more expensive. Well, we've got something to work towards, at least. This is the, um... What is this referred to as? This is the, uh... I think this is called the... The Light Sword, I guess. Um, you can use it as, uh, a surround, if you wanted to. And, uh, it's... Possibly, actually, I think it is the best sword that the Prince of Canna can actually wield. Because, I mean, there, you can see, he's, he can hold it. Um, so it's, it's probably the best thing for him to ever have, so... Uh, also, ah, 65,000, 65,000, uh, but this is the, uh, <laughs> the fur, boots with the fur, this is sometimes referred to as the, uh, the mink coat, but, uh, it, I mean, it's, it's big defense, it's big defense, you'd be, you know, you'd be punching yourself if you're not using this, I guess, um, we've also got this, the heel shield, um, this is uh, also sometimes called the uh, power shield. Uh, this is actually an incredible item because using it in battle casts heal more. 
Which is like, oh, that'd be actually really good if everyone could heal more, including the main character. So, very useful to have. Um, and then the Iron Helmet, which we've already got, but, uh, yeah. Um, I can't afford any of it. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to afford it at some point, but, uh, that day is not today. There's nothing usual in the dresser. In the village of Tun lives the great, lives the great robe weaver, Don Mahane. I wish he would make me a robe. Okay. Hi there. Welcome to my item shop. Uh... Shh! Where did you hear about me? This costs a fair bit. Okay, okay. That's fine, I'll sell this. But please, don't tell anyone. Who should I give this to? This is a secret item, by the way. Here you go, Art. Uh, that was $2,000 for... The jail key. Very important. Very important you grab that. Um... But it's just like, huh. Okay, huh. I like how you just have to notice that it's just like, hmm, weird shop. You know, in your sneaky underground... Underground base. There you go. And also with the jail key, I guess we can walk into people's things. Ah, oh, bellboy, you came along at the right time. Where is the bathroom? What? You're not the bellboy? And there are no bathrooms here? My! What kind of hotel is this? Very nice. Uh, I think this, uh, can only entered from this side anyway, so let's check this out. What's going on in here? Oh, hi there. Did you come here looking to buy yourself a jail key too? Yeah, I heard a shop here sells it. But it sounds like a hoax. Chish! You can buy more items. Hang on, this is a different item shop. And then I assume this is storage, which, uh... I haven't been saving any gold, so... Uh... Although we probably can, um... Start saving, because I mean... This is... As I was describing, those are kind of the best items in the game, so... Makes sense that we can, you know... I really need more slot tokens, though. I know it's some enemies drop them, but it's just like... <laughs> I haven't won anything from it. Hello there. This guy just chilling there, you know. He's just chilling. I saw it! The mountains of Rhone to the northwest of the town! The huge rocky mountain split! It must have been the devil's work! Heaven help me! My name is Luke, but that's all I can remember. I was found washed up on the beach by the priest of this town. I wish I knew where I came from. Huh. And a sleepy boy. I believe this is- is this a proper save? You have the Rubus Charm, a gift from the Earth Elemental. Nope, he's not a save. Where's our save guy? It's been a while since we've seen a save guy. I know so much managed to escape. I don't know where or how he got out. It's perplexing. I was gonna say, isn't it the um, villain of Chrono Trigger? Or that was Lavos. Oh, actually, never mind. It's just a hole. Lord Hargon holds court in the rugged mountains of Rome. Only those bearing the evil statue may open the path to Rome. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mysterious crack. Oh, hi there. You found me! I'm the infamous Lagos. I'll give back the damn key. And there we go, another key. Why not? So, uh, I think that's all the keys, actually. <laughs> just one in the town just before and uh, two in this town. Very curious, but now we can basically open every single door in the game. There's no... There's nothing real secret anymore. We got them all. But then again, we've also got two of the five crests that you need in order to, you know, open the end of the game. So, uh, we've still got some areas to explore, so let's, uh, keep... Oh, oh my gosh. It's the tree! Do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> 
So I think actually we need to get onto our boat and then uh just start sailing across. We'll get there. <laughs> more, more, well it's not a Gorgonzola, it's just more enemies. Um, so ample time for me to actually talk about overclocking parts again. Um, I always feel like it's a bit of a worry of parts dying way too quickly, but I think this is, we sort of hit this cycle already, and Intel sort of already went through the struggle a bit when, actually no, oh, both Intel and AMD went through the struggle a bit. Um, and I guess Nvidia and AMD when it comes to the, or oh, maybe even ATI back in the days. Uh, when it comes to this arms race of constantly pushing the chips you have just that little bit more because the gains are not actually as groundbreaking as, you know, maybe they should be. But when you run the chips harder and harder and harder, you'll find that those gains are there. Oh my gosh. But at some point then all hardware, you know, has its limits and uh, you'll find those limits and then it's like, oof, this might be Intel's limits. This might be a real bad thing uh, that these board manufacturers are sort of just going all ham on. And personally, I think it's insane that, like, uh, for reference as well, I, I'm very certain it is the boards because Asus uh, pushed out a new BIOS like very quickly for their for some of the Z790 boards, and it just introduces a baseline profile. You turn it on and it's literally just the Intel stock settings as best of its ability. It's like voltage is down. Power is down, um, like the core ratios are just normal, all of it's normal, um, and uh, you do lose 15% of the performance on a 4900KS, which is very, very sad. It's because it's just like, man, that all that performance is just you know, not there, and uh, why go Intel at that point? That is a good question, actually. <laughs> Seriously, I think AMD is probably uh, having the happy days right now. Uh, this is a bit of a nightmare of a place to get to. Uh, I think the trick is you got to enter from the west here. So you'll find this kind of river, and you'll need to just kind of follow it around a little bit, past this bridge, and then uh, through these mountains, and then stop off over here. And then you're gonna need to do the rest on foot, and you're gonna need to walk on mountains and fight, uh, hawks? 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 <laughs> Not hawks, hawks. Australian accent's always terrible when it comes to this kind of stuff. These guys aren't too bad. But they got a lot of health. Like, out of every enemy we've come across, they got 90? That's quite a fair bit. And I got the sweet breath. A little, little of a doozy. Um, but yeah, it's it's insane that like the base isn't a default on all these boards. Like it really should be. Um, I guess it's partially on Intel for never enforcing this. Like they don't say, "Hey, board manufacturers, if you don't come stock out of the box, then what are you doing?" Every board likes going a little over because it makes everyone look good. Technically, ghost rat. Um, it makes Intel look good because the chips run better and people aren't 100% aware why and it makes the board partners look good because, hey, look, our processor is, or the processor is running really, really good, whoa! Uh, but ultimately, yes, who pays the price at the end? The consumers when the processor is running too hard. Um, I think it was a bug, but you remember the AMD, like, the X3D CPUs basically bubbling and, like, like melting a bit on the inside, um, and that was just because of a of a very weird over voltage bug. Now that one is not by choice, but it is again like you know the same effect basically. Maybe turbo. Check this out, by the way. This is the metal slime, a metally and e flame. <laughs> you don't get no jingle. You didn't beat him. <laughs> uh, the metal slime. Uh, was he? <sighs> Forgetting if he was in the first game or not. Puppet Man, Hunters, oh boy. Oh boy. Um, but the Metal Slime, if you can, uh... 
This is not gonna be fun, these guys doing this. Um, if you can defeat the Metal Slime, they give you how much experience? 1,015, which is a butt ton of experience. Um, and it's actually 10 times more experience than they gave in the uh, NES version. They'd only give 130, well that's not 10 times, but they'd only give 135. Art is dead. Bit of a doozy having to take these guys out, right? What these hunters have? Oh my gosh. Also, uh, who had the Yggdrasil so leaf? I think it was Art, uh, actually. These guys aren't too bad. I've only got 65 health, but... Yeah. It's a bit... Yeah, he did. This is kind of annoying. It's like, oh, I gotta... Pass it to Nana, and then it says, Remove from Art's Coffin. Very nice. And we can use that on Art, and bring him back to life. Unfortunately, he's on full health as well, so that's cool. Keep wandering around this way, and you'll see the town, but you kind of have to walk around a little bit to get there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who do you fight? A bit of everyone, I guess. I don't like this hunter, I really don't. Well, the gold orc hits kind of just as hard, so... Oh! Main character's dead. This is, uh, gonna be a bit of a doozy. No, nah, I should be running. I should be running on this one. I got it! Heck yeah! We did it! <laughs> we got to the town! <laughs> nice. I welcome you to Toon Village! Thank you very much. <laughs> We're gonna need to do a quick revive real quick here. <laughs> gonna need a revive. Unfortunately, money is less of an issue now for reviving. It was like this weird point in the middle where it was kind of annoying, but uh... It's not too bad. Still adds up, but... How very nice. We've got, a, we've got a town and we've got some real strong enemies outside here. Also, we got another weapon shop. So, uh, what have we got here? Well, we got the same wizard staff, you know, I've seen that already. The dragon sword, and then this is... The Falcon Blade. Uh, this uh, maybe goes by some other names in some other games, um, but it's the Falcon Blade in this one. The fun part about this is that even though the damage is low, the Falcon Blade actually causes you to attack twice. And um, you'll see that, like, you know, when you think about it, well, if I attack 69 attack twice, then that's technically 138 attack, right? And that is true, except when the enemy has high defense and it's sort of being double applied because you're having to attack twice. And that's the trade-off with the Falcon Blade. For some enemies it's great, and as I level up more and more and more, the effect is actually going to be even greater, which makes it arguably the best weapon in the game? I don't know. If you're playing the NES version, probably uh, the Prince of Kanek, uh can equip this and he sort of can only equip this as opposed to any other weapon, so it's kind of like, well, you might as well use it for him. But it's a bit weird. Um, I don't know necessarily if you want to go with it in this game. Uh, got this uh, magic armor as well. This is like the armor I currently have, um, except it resists some magic. It might be alright, but also there's the, the mink coat, which isn't actually that much, like, stronger now I think about it. So maybe the magic armor is maybe ideal? Who knows? Uh, unfortunately, uh, the princess can't hold this, so... Uh. Uh, there's the heel shield and the iron helmet again, so... Nothing too fancy, but still fancy enough. Oh, out of my budget. Hello! South from the village stands the Loon Tower. In the old days, people used to go there by boat. 
The good thing it's not the old days. You got our damn key back! Th thank you! Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? <laughs> I'm actually- I'm Jenna! Where's my lay about husband? Is he slumming at the dam again? Oh, I'm mad. That's damn backwards. Very nice. It's not a secret door. Oh, there's a door on that side. Okay. That's all Grandpa says now. What is the matter with him? Open the dam. The arid river will brim with water again. We might as well head in here. I am Don Mohame. I am retired. Is there something you wish of me? Yes. But I wish for nothing of yours. Leave. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I don't wish anything. I thought not. Then leave. <laughs> well done. Don, my man. Okay. <laughs> what you got here? It's got an end. Well, I might as well sleep here. I am a traveling mercenary. I heard that Don Miami, the master robe weaver, lives in this village. But the man is very particular. He won't take on a job if he doesn't have the right tool or materials. Oh, that Lagos. If I was only a little faster, I would have never let him slip away. My merchant friends rumor that in the Loon Tower there is a mystic stone called the Moon Shard. What power could it have? Huh. Very curious Moon Shard, eh? It's just a little tiny item shop over here. Again, the same the same stuff we've seen everywhere, pretty much. There's nothing too fancy there. Now, if we head north just a bit, you'll see there's this uh, dog here. And also, you can just keep going north, and there's a guy here. Whoa, Jenna! I'm sorry, sugar. Please f forgive me, honey, huh? You're not Jenna. Don't tell no one I'm here. Belch! Good, I owe you. What if I say no? I love that screen shake burp. You know, you're pretty cold. And if you keep heading left, you'll find this, uh, spot here, which we can open, because jail key. And this is- oh, hold on, we gotta- we gotta use the damn key. And this opens the dam. That's about it, really. Uh... So I think this actually means that we can now ride the ship towards... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, this bit, this bit to our left was walled off before by sand. And now this allows us to visit this tower that's just south of us. Um... But also, we're kind of under- well, under-leveled, I guess. Um, but also on top of that, uh, we now have keys, so we can actually just go around and pick up some items and stuff that might be useful. Um, so how about let's uh, spend the rest of the stream just going around and getting some stuff there. We'll grab- grab some levels in the process, because uh, this is just- this is a doozy and a half, isn't it? Constantly taking like 20 damage every every single time I got attacked by these fellas. Also, hi, can't hit him. He's too strong, apparently. That's okay. Other than that, though, I, I don't know about uh upcoming hardware, it's sort of, you know, still a while away, and... I, I, the rumors are always hard to, like, really pin down, because it's just like... You see rumors, and you got no idea if they're real. Um, and sometimes, actually, a lot of the time, a rumor is true... Uh, and then the company decides not to do it. Um, so it's like, the rumor is like, eh, it sort of happened. Like, um, back when NVIDIA was teasing the, uh... The RTX 3000s, um, 
with a uh, like double the VRAM. There was the RTX 3080 20 gigabyte and the 3070 16 gigabyte, and uh, that that ended up to never happen. They never did release a double capacity um, 3080 and 3070 and all that stuff. Um, but uh, I'm I'm very certain it was probably floated around and teased, but yeah, no, they never went with it, and um, I think probably the reason is why? Who would buy these? And um, every time AMD always goes, hey, check it out, new games need more VRAM, NVIDIA seems to keep running off the, the idea that, like, you know, the amount of VRAM they have on their cards is fine, which there's a part of me that's like, it's workable, but you will certainly find the limit if you are seeking it. If you, certain games ride that limit so hard. The Leather Shield, very nice. I can add that to my collection of slightly more money. Oh, we got a metal. Metal Slime, get him. They don't hit too hard, but classic Metal Slimes in a Dragon Quest, they're always impossible to hit. You're basically relying on a crit. And you can't use spells as well, so. You can, you can still hit them, but it's just like, yeah, one damage, it's like, oh boy. The odds of me actually hitting him, or killing him, is very low. But if you do get a crit, you'll get him. You'll get him. Uh, and if you're thinking, oh, you know, why don't you grind here for the metal slimes? In the very awkward way that you can fight them. Um... There's a, there's a slightly better metal slime. Oh, dang it. There's a, there's a liquid metal slime later in this game as well, somewhere. Which we'll get to. But yeah, if you really, really need levels, it's like just liquid metal slime. Ghost rat. But yeah, I, I'm not too sure what the rumors are right now with uh, um, Arrow Lake and uh, Zen 5. Uh, there is one I did see for Zen 5 where like the the IPC improvement is like an actually insane number. It's like properly um, like 40%. And the 40% might be a stretch, but then it's just like... You're seeing some, like, fake bench- or not fake, but, like, you're seeing some benchmarks that are, like, yeah, it's... It's on point right now, it's... legit. Uh, oh, where are we even at? Just five of these guys, oh my gosh. Jeez, cool. <laughs> Pretty chill, pretty chill. Yeah, I, I feel like I did play too much Guitar Hero today because my hand is cramping up kind of bad, so I'll take it very chill um, from here on out. Dragon Quest is chill because you can, like, you can't pizza hand this game. It's not like Earthbound where, like, L supplements the A button and you can, like, use it with one hand. It's not quite like that, but. Rip these sea slugs though, they're not feeling it. They're really not living. Yeah. I can't believe at the beginning of the stream I had two back to back. First time chat, random, random accounts, just going for it. Do I dare check these accounts? Do I go, ah yes, 
What are these accounts f feeling? What are they doing? Well, the first one is account created 4th of December 2023. Uh, and the second one is, uh, 17th of November 2023. Uh, the first one has a profile pic. 19 followers. That's about it. They have an actual picture, but it hasn't streamed recently, and uh... Well, I, I, I don't know, I'm going back, I can't see any streams from this person. The other person, uh, obviously they're trying to promote some, uh... Some service, you know what I mean? I'm not that desperate, I really don't need to bot my viewership. You know me, my, my, uh, my goal is engagement. If you're, if you're enjoying this, if you're up to this part of the video, you know, props to you, I appreciate you, you're, you're, you're awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, no, feel free to like comment just random stuff, I don't know, just treat, treat it like old internet. I'm just doing this for funsies, I want to see what you want to say, if you have stuff to say, I'll reply, I'll like, you know, that kind of stuff, it's all good. And I guess that's a, that's a, a fun um, point. I bring it up all the time of just like, you know, d dead internet theory. And I don't think it's like, you know, it's not like the whole internet is filled with bots, but it is just like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of like this on Twitch. And there's a lot of this on Twitter. Like there's a lot of people, a lot of people who are clearly like not even real people. Sorry, there's a lot of accounts on Twitch. Where it's just, you know, uh, genitalia in bio, as they describe. And, um, uh, like, they're just taking other people's Instagram or uh, uh, OnlyFans, like, you know, teaser photos, using it as their profile pic, or sometimes, you know, posting another picture from this person and uh, just passing it off as an account. And then I assume. What they're trying to do is actually just sell... These, these slugs are going in a sleep jam, oh my gosh. What they're trying to do is they're trying to sell just this other person's photos on the quick. Like, it's not their photos, but if they sell it for a little bit, then, uh, you know, they'll make some money in the process. Which is, it's, that's a scummy move, but also, like, I don't really think people should be paying that much for the original kind of... Uh, I guess item in this in this regard, but uh, you know, to each their own, I guess. But preferably, don't 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 pay for just random stuff you see on Twitter, which is always weird to me. It's like getting advertised to. It's like obviously the sponsorship stuff, which I mentioned earlier, is one form of advertisement. But it's like um, not really everything, I guess. Really everything, it's just like, eh, you know, like, why is the whole internet just out here to advertise and sell stuff to me? Can we not just use the internet as sort of what it was originally meant to be, which is a form of communication? I guess in the same way that, like, television is, uh, much more, uh, you know, commercialized. Um, you know, the in so too is the internet. And, to be fair, you know, servers are not cheap. People don't, you know, set up a box just to have people spam it and all this kind of stuff. I completely get this. Um, but it is kind of insane to me that it's like a lot of internet traffic is filtered around sites that are exclusively there to just make a ton of money and sell weird things to you. And to have people go onto the platform and sell things on these platforms. And it's weird because it's just like on the one hand, you know, like, I think there's a lot of things to criticize, like, big stores like Amazon about, but then it's just like, eh, you know, like, Amazon is a store. Like, I don't think there's anything insidious about people selling stuff on Amazon, as long as, you know, it works, and it's good stuff. And there's, you know, there's been quite a few things that I bought on Amazon, where it's like, yeah, no, it's been good. Uh, I don't need to do anything here, because I've already had the key, so we're good. We're good here. I'll just sail past it, just- just cause. Oops. Did it, did it. 
So pretty much, yeah, just going around and uh, opening doors in the dungeons, and or well, not the dungeons, but in the um, towns that we've seen before. It's weird, there's actually been like quite a few towns, like just this stream. I feel like I, I didn't go to as many places in the last stream, but then it's just like here, it's like, no, oh, we've sort of plotted out almost all the earth there's a cup there's one other place i haven't yet gone to um and that's just because i don't think there's actually been a huge need to go there all right let's we'll go there in a little bit oh next stream but uh Other than that, I mean, it's, it's just uh, finding the last few places and getting the last few, uh, um, you know, pieces, crests, and uh, going on from there, so. How come so many of my conversations, my, my soliloquy ramblings, devolve into dead internet theory? I don't know. We're going to need another leaf. Wow. I'm gonna want to sell my stuff as well. I think it's because there's a lot of times I do a stream and it's just like, yep, there's just, you know, like bots, bots be botting, they be chilling and they be doing bot behavior. Here we go. Uh, did this place have a? Oh, it did have this. I think I've got enough healing to wing it. I think. Actually, less winging. And more, uh, I probably need to wait until I'm the right level in order to handle this. Like, I'm just, I'm just thinking to myself, there is an ability, but... Oh, he needs to be level 17 for that. Ah, oh, well, how much experience is he at? 25, 7, 40... Is he almost there? No, he's like 2,000 off. We'll come back here. We'll come back here at the end of the trip. And he might be at a, a higher level. Just a slightly higher level. <laughs> I'm like, yep. Can't quite deal with that one yet. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Keep in the round. Vampirus! Wah! These guys are cool, I like them. How cool is he? You know, he's a vampirus. They're not that bad. Keep hitting them, keep hitting the smoke. I bet he can sit on the smoke! There we go, nice and easy. Yeah, 226 experience, we'll get that level up eventually. So sail up north a little bit. Until we see, uh... I think I've sailed right past it, actually. Oh, slimes. Yeah, tons of slimes. Also, I guess there's a... There's, um... Games, aren't there? There's games that are coming out. Was this something that was announced? Or was Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 that was announced? I don't know very much about it, just oh, about... It and its first game. I I never played the first one. Um, 
It had a Switch port, didn't it? That's a that's a bit of a surprising release, but uh. Okay, did I sail right past? No, I did not sail right past. Hey, there it is. Ah, uh, it's from the left side. Yes. <laughs> I think it'd be a little quicker to take out these slimes, but no, still, still takes its time. I guess that's the thing as well, it's like, yeah, Dragon Quest 2 is a larger game, and they certainly make you feel it. But yeah, they certainly make you feel it, because there's a lot of just going around. And it's weird, because I, I feel like actually most of the towns are localized to the north side of the map. Like, we'll definitely uh, have less travel time once I'm done with here. And done with the mountains as well. Can I aim for another guess? Can. Gas! Gas uh Gaspy! The great Gaspy. And it's cast and sleep, which is very, very fun. Very nice. Oh! Oh! Casually getting caught out real bad here. <laughs> Unfortunately, Nan has got the world leaf right now, so I guess that's okay. Uh, yeah, use that or not. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of fun of like how, yeah, you only get one world leaf at a time, but you can just keep going back and getting it. Really love to hit these guys because this is this is getting annoying. <laughs> come on, come on! I really want to take these guys. <laughs> come on! There you go. Hit him for the one damage. Good stuff. Well, I guess I could just be using spells, but eh. Spells, smells. Don't need them. Uh, da -da -da, heal more. <laughs> there we go. Back here. We were here earlier. And now we're gonna wander around a bit more. So if we go all the way around the outside. the way around the outside. We'll come across that one door that I, I found earlier, and you couldn't open it. Actually, you couldn't even see that there was a door. But now you can! Oh, now you can! Open this door. And come inside and, uh, casually steal a knife. And the Gaia armor. Excuse me, you shouldn't be here, he says. As he just allows me to grab the Gaia armor. So the Gaia armor is, uh, oh my gosh, what's, which one is the Gaia armor? The knife is actually, like, real weak source, like, just for reference. Uh, hold on. I should actually, like, start selling some of these other items as well, so maybe we'll work our way around back to the item shop so I can sell some things. But, uh, I mean, the knife is the knife, you know, like... Is that the, yeah, that's, like... Yeah, one of the first things you can get in the game, that's... <laughs> we don't need that. But the, the Gaia armor. The Gaia armor. Oh. Do 
Here we go. Hello. Alright, let's sell some things that we don't need, like this, uh, repellent. And... Oh, I guess we'll move on. Oh, you got warp wing. It probably doesn't need another warp wing. I don't really need one. And even then. Uh, and this leather shield I'm not gonna need. And Nana's probably holding on to, uh, you know, the copper sword. Easy. And the knife. Yeah, 150 gold, because that's, you know, starting knife, it's fine. Um, okay, so, if I go item and we take the Gaia armor and we pass it on to Bundo, uh, the equipment, the Gaia armor is fairly good. Who can hold the Gaia armor? Only. The Prince of, uh, Maidenhall. So, uh, that's pretty much it. You might as well... You might as well equip it, you know? What else are you gonna equip? Uh, so what did I have instead? I had the... Uh, the Evade shirt, which I don't need, because everyone's got, so... Yeah, we can get rid of that now. More... more armor. Always good. And uh, being able to sell off some some items, so let's uh, save some gold while we're at it, just so I don't lose it all. I have eight thousand dollars. There we go, and we can stop off at the uh, inn wherever the inn is. There we go. Welcome to our inn. It's an inn. Okay, time to move a bit quicker now. Or at least not get wrecked as hard. Ah, trees! Trees! I don't know, there's a, there's a small part of me that's just like, yeah, how much, uh, social media is, uh, you know, legit. Who knows? I will say, I... Like, it's very easy. Social media seems to keep, like, recommending, um, like, people or things that effectively, like, if I call it conspiracy theories, that's, like, what there's, what some people that I see say are actually conspiracy theories in the sense of, like, in, in order for this to work, people need to be conspiring. That's what I mean by it. it's a theory of, like, you're, the only way that this actually works is if a lot of people were in on it. This doesn't just accidentally happen. Um, you ever wandered into this place, by the way? It just keeps going down and down and down. And then eventually you reach this part in the center, which, uh... We need uh, an item, don't we? Use the flute. Well, I guess we don't have an item to, to deal with this just yet. We'll come back here later. This place is important, though. And I love this, how many floors it is. It's just like, yep, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. That's good fun. I like it. And it's just this, like, spot out in the middle of nowhere. So, let's sail up a bit more. Oh. Hey, Hawkman, that was a cheap shot. Oh, I'm gonna get absolutely nailed by these, like, whiz drakies if they're doing the defense down, though, I tell ya. You know one thing I like about, um, about, a uh, Twitch is whatever codec I need to encode as, um, is, uh... Like, I have to constantly send 6 megabits per second in order to keep my stream. I wish I could send higher quality, but, um, uh, even, I mean, a lot of this game has been white. So, there's definitely stuff going on when I'm in an overworld, and there's lots of colors going on, and it has to then record a bunch of stuff. But when it gets to the battle screen, suddenly it's not writing anywhere near as much data. Because it's just like, oh, it's all compressible, it's fine. And, um, so my local recording is actually smaller than the video I've had to send to Twitch. 
but like it's always a higher quality. It's just, you know, variable bitrate, I guess. Uh, okay, so we've now got these keys, which we can now access these little side rooms. An amulet gives protection against spells. It is supposed to reduce the risk of falling asleep or having your own spells disabled. It doesn't prevent it, it just reduces it. Hey there. I have heard about Moonbrook. The wicked Hagen is in possession of malevolent powers. He has said to curse all who threaten him. Beware of him. Thank you. And there's a slot token. We finally did it. We've got another slot token. We're in. We're in. Uh, okay. Don't need to worry about you. And you were just chilling here. So, that's all fine. And there wasn't really anything in here. There's probably slot tokens all over the shop and I've just not been finding any of them. This would be where the prince is, which at least gives me an opportunity to save very late in the stream because I've not had any opportunity to do that. Ah! I was worried about you. It is terrible what happened to your father and your people, but I'm glad that at least you are safe. From now on, think of me as your father, Nana. Okay. Thank you, Ernest. Good. <laughs> and we will record the progress. We'll keep going on for a little bit. Hi there, Duke. Prince Vindo, you look so much more noble. It makes me so happy to see you. Okay. <laughs> sure. So there's that room, but also I think this is the jail down here. Well, I mean, I think I've actually been into these rooms before, but I haven't opened up the jail yet, so here we go. Hey, do you have the jail key? If you open this for me, I'll tell you something in return. Uh, I guess I need to actually use the jail key this time. There you go. Yeah, great! Now it's my turn to repay you. The life seal is supposed to be in a cave that leads to Rome. Thank you. Okay, let's use the jail key again. How much health do I have? Because this is poopy floor. Look at that much damage, that was seven. Which isn't too bad, but I'm hoping I do get uh, the level up just before we get back. Oh, you will let me out? I am grateful. Your corpses will make a fine gift for me to deliver to Lord Hagen. Ah. It's Magus. You know. I should have really, uh, yeah, healed up a little bit before, because, uh, Nice. You know what's the best part as well? Uh, you don't get um, a second shot at this fight. You mustn't die. How dare you die. You don't get a second shot at the fight. Good thing I saved literally right there. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, he catches you way off guard. He's barely got any health as well. But he is a bomb. He will just go off. So we'll have a second shot at him. Also interestingly, Magus is uh, at least the Magus enemy, although there's certainly uh, mage enemies all over the shop. Um, doesn't actually reappear until uh, Dragon Quest IX. And he's in both Dragon Quest Heroes games, apparently. <laughs> Alright, take two on fighting this dude. Okay, da da da. I should probably free this guy second. Actually, he is just giving you a tip anyway, so he's not giving you anything too useful. Okay, time to heal ahead of time. Especially, he moved first, didn't he? The jerk. Well, that's all the health I can do, so... This might still mean people are dying, but eh. Oh, 
Alright, we'll go in for the fight. Ah, oh, it's about to explode. See, now this is, yeah, this is what I mean by it. You'll live. Oh boy. Oh, it costs two. It costs two. Ah. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, we'll, we'll have one last go at this guy, but otherwise it's just like, eh, I guess I'll have to come back here later. Keep a mental note. Keep a very mental note of that one. I think he's got 180 health as well, which is actually kind of insane. Man, I was not expecting to just get, uh, very walloped. But I guess I'm probably not quite a great level, am I? Who knows? Yeah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Heal one more time. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, I guess I'll come back later. Because he does give you something way good if you can manage to beat him. So I guess, uh, just, uh... Do we do surround, or...? Will surround cause him to miss, or...? Defense. We'll do a defense. Oh my gosh, he just went for a regular attack this time. Maybe that was my chance. And now we've dropped his defense, which means I can, uh... Do a bit of a crazy attack. I guess sleep? Oh. There you go, that's the explode. Okay, well, it was worth a try. But now we're gonna do a bit more damage. Oh, it was cast the pencil. Ah! We did it! Woo! <laughs> that time's the charm. Gives you a good amount of experience as well. And he drops a chest, which includes the bolt. The bolt is the king weapon for, uh, um, uh, the princess. It's actually the best weapon for her. Um, because she barely gets to have that many weapons anyways. Um, so give this to her, and she can equip it. Now, it's not going to look that amazing, or it is, I mean, that is pretty okay for more damage, but in, importantly, uh, you can use it as an item, and it casts Infernos just right off the bat, so now you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, using magic for Infernos. You just use the item. It's great. Uh, people will definitely die if I walk on that just right off the bat, so... heal and then we'll go to an inn, but that's good that I've got that out of the way. Fine, I'll let you out, actually, this time. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was a, that was a spooky, that was a very spooky fight, caught me off guard. I love how in order to win that fight, you just had to, like, not have bad luck. Who dares to enter here? Prepare to meet your maker thief. Oops, Prince Bindo, I beg your pardon. The Mystic Nut. The Lotto Seal. This is actually important as well. Um, why? Why is it important? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, yeah. We we need this for a different room as well, don't we? The Struss Seed. This is like one of the one of the the crests. You need to have the Lotto Seal and a lot of money. So, um, but this is very nice because now we can uh, use. Some of these, uh, things. So the Mystic Nut would be great on Nana. Because she's going to be casting magic. Uh, the Struss Seed will be great on Bundo, because he needs to hit a bit harder. And, uh, the Life Acorn. I guess we'll check the Art, because he needs some health. And, uh, it was one more, wasn't it? 
Oh, this is a herb, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. This is one, I guess, gripe about the game, is your inventory starts to get bogged up more by these key items. Like, everyone, I mean, like, I've got, I mean, I've got the wind cape and I really don't need to have it anymore. Um, but it's just like, yeah, okay, so you've got five items on every character. And then it's just like, okay, and then you can only store five other items, and four of them are keys. <laughs> and one's the Echo Flute, which, you know, you're, you're bogging up your inventory space with a lot of key items. So I actually might see if we can, uh, drop off these items at a later place. Good morning. But I don't think the the bank is here, so we'll have to wander around a bit more. Onto the boat, because, uh, stuff walking. Who needs to walk when you can just, you know, ride a boat? And I, I, I was looking over my other screen. No, I gotta fight these tough enemies. I love how it's just like, yep, get the, get the princess to just slap things with a, with a wand. Also, I love how it's like, the bolt, and then it's just Inferno, because there's only so many spells in this game. I feel like Dragon Quest 3 is definitely... It's like Final Fantasy 3, it's just like, there's so much more. This game is definitely a larger Dragon Quest 1, but it is still a lot of Dragon Quest 1 at its heart. Whereas Dragon Quest 3 certainly builds it into maybe a bit more of a... The kind of RPG identity that... Well, I don't know. Dragon Quest always has this identity anyways. I guess this is maybe the gripe of Dragon Quest 2 as well. Where it's like, there's so much of this game that's like, okay, now you have to go around and pick up all these things. Uh, whereas Dragon Quest 1 is just... You're there. There's no fetch quest going on with Dragon Quest 1. You just kind of need to be strong enough, basically. And most importantly, there's been no story as well. <laughs> like, like uh, I mean, yeah, you know, find out some places and some, you know, there's some townsfolk and some people, but it's like, I think there's some, there's definitely an art to how Dragon Quest um, five in particular, but definitely seven really, really does this, where it like it masters the two-hour span and it describes a tale that lasts for about two hours in the game, as a start and an end. And then the idea is that that plays into a wider world state. Um, and so there's this wonderful, like, episodic nature to Dragon Quest um, 7, which I really like. So let's get rid of the, the Wind Cape, because, yeah, I don't need to hold on to that. Um... Yeah, you really don't need the damn key anymore, though, I'll tell you that. Uh, da -da. Does Nana hold on to something I don't need to really have? I can sell the wizard. The wizard wand. And the... Yeah, so, let's, let's clear up a bit more inventory space. Welcome to my item shop. I hope you find the item you want. I don't think there's actually anything in this town, though, that we need. Like, I don't think there was anything that the keys were, uh, you know, needed for in this town, though. It's worth having a bit of a check, but I'm pretty sure this was just a town. Oh, there was this. Oh yeah, the gambling. Alright. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna win all this money. Nope. I've lost the token in one fell swoop. Never win it. We'll never win it. Okay. Well, back down we go and to another castle. I think we got like three? Three castles to go to? And then maybe I can go back to that one town and, uh... Try to see if I can step over the, the poop. 
Don't defile the church, they said. Okay, man, they, I mean, I think the enemy spawns are way larger when you've got a party of three. But it's just like, man, six enemies! It's a bunch! Especially when they're just basic boys like this. This is secretly what the repel is for, just encounters like this. <laughs> oh, you know one thing, actually? I do need uh, to investigate this a bit more um, for the Guitar Hero, is uh, the drums aren't fully supported. Uh, and to some degree the guitar is as well. Whatever uh, PCSX2's uh, input is, um, they don't let you bind the control stick uh, for guitars or uh, the D-pad on the drums. And the latter is actually a blocker to playing the game properly on drums. I've noticed the, the, the bit mask, which the game basically reads from, and you can definitely poke that in order to get the game to go up or down in menus. Um, but... Uh, in Rock Band, you actually hit blue and yellow. You actually hit the buttons, or the pads, and it'll go up and down for you, so you never have to really put down the sticks. But in, um, in Guitar Hero, it's like, nah, they're, they're gonna bind buttons to those, so you need to have up and down, um, mapped. And, uh, yeah, no, the PCSX2 doesn't expose it, so... I'm gonna do some toying around, I'm gonna see if, uh, you know... It's very easy, it's just right there, and they just haven't exposed buttons, or... Uh, uh, something else. Welcome, descendants of Lotto. Go on! Open that chest and take what you find. What's this? The Lotto shield? I won the Lotto. Wow. So this is indeed the, uh, the big Lotto shield. This is, uh, pretty much, you know, the shield. Now only Lotto can, or only, uh, the main character can hold this, but, uh, it's, it's great. It's worth having. Uh, the steel shield, no one else can equip it, so... The power shield, um... The Prince of Canic can use, but... Yeah, here, uh... Nah. <laughs> the Lotto shield, only one person can have it. Are you... Do you have anything else to say or not? Ah, oh, brother! Nice. Very nice. Is your jail upstairs? You do have another room up here, though. You're gonna have something secret under your bed. Do we check every single tile? I mean, it's probably a chair. It's probably the chair. No? Are you telling me there's nothing in here? Really? good here, though. No, that has to be a jail, right? There's gotta be a jail somewhere. Maybe it's over on the right here. I'm very certain- yeah, I'm very certain there was a jail. Yeah, this looks better. Get a hold of the silver key. <laughs> You're free! Soon, the world's gonna end. So what's a little theft, eh? Thank you, my man. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was a great use of time, wasn't that? <laughs> well, I guess we continue on to the next town! Drackies. There we go, onto the boat. 
We're gonna travel south here. I love that one little island that you can go to. Very nice. gonna be able to see this? I know what I'm looking for at least. Ah. More of these just boring slugs. Like every single one of these enemies dies in one hit. This is... I've fought enough of these slugs man. They just come in these massive groups. And they give an okay amount of experience but it's just like, yeah. <laughs> slugs. Prince of Maidenhall is going to get a level up before the Prince of Kanek. There we go. Let's head over to another town. This is uh, our town of uh, Hamlin, uh, which I'm very certain had something somewhere. Yeah, that guy. Head down here, up the stairs. That's, that's fun. Maybe we should save before I open this door. So that guy's chilling us. Somewhere in the ocean, there is a spirit shrine. It is in there that the elemental spirit is summoned by the five seals. Or so the story goes. Of course, nobody knows if this old saying is indeed true or not. That is, uh, perhaps where I may have wandered to. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's drop a save. Let's see, uh, yeah, 3091. Oh, he is the next one. Okay. I don't know if I can take on these dudes, though. We'll give it a go. And am, I, am I on full health, or...? Uh, foolish. Hi there. Kee kee kee! We got two Oswags. Oswag, what an amazing enemy name. They do breathe fire, which is not fun. And uh, fire bane, which is way not fun. But uh, at least that's one. At least. Cast stop spell, the jerk. How dare you stop my spells? Or at least attempt to. It's not too bad, but the amount of damage they deal is, uh, not fun. Um... And you also get the, uh, the water seal! So, uh, that's nice. Gotta get another seal. I like how as well it's just like, yeah, no, that's just... That's just one of the seals. It's just there. Don't miss it, it's just chilling there, but uh, yeah. I guess that's another thing is like, the keys in the first game was all just, you know, for nice, fun, well, really good items, but mostly just there, good items. That is required right there, that fight with those dudes. Um, you just have to know they're there. Someone's gonna be like, oh, but you got the you got the, the whistle, the, the chime. It tells you where they are. It's like, no, it only tells you if you wandered here. And I feel like it's kind of quick enough to just explore around anyways. Uh So the only other place we gotta go to is um the uh the Tantacle, the castle from the beginning of the game. Oh sorry, the first game, <laughs> rather. Get all sorcerer, and also that you know the the one plays again. There we go. Onto the boat. What would the best way of? Wandering into here be... There's a kind of weird island here, I don't think there's any actual, like, 
thing to do here. It's just an island, you know. And that's our love shrine. on the outside here. I think it'll be easier for me. Here we go. We're almost here. Uh, not quite there. Hold on, a little bit more, more north. There you are, about here. Mud dolls, oh my gosh. Remember these guys? How annoying were they? How much damage are you dealing to them? 63? Okay. And then they drain all my magic. Very nice. They're not too bad though. I love how in um, some later Dragon Quest games you get divination as your own spell. So it's like you can figure out how much experience it takes to get to the next level. But they'll never just tell you in the UI. They never want to do that. It's always got to be someone's got to tell you how much experience it takes. But you can easily see how much experience you have. So. <laughs> and he got a repellent. Very nice. And to the starting castle of the first game. We're gonna look for some doors. It's got this magic pot. Let's head inside this door where we shall find, uh... I saw sewing supplies. You need some do... Do yarn? I'm sold out. Do yarn is a gift from the sky. It is blown by the winds to the north tower of the two Drakhorn Towers. It's always on the third floor. Ugh! So we gotta go get that at some point, but thank you person for telling us. For just telling us about it. I don't think there was really anything that fancy. It might just be like a dungeon somewhere. Wherever the dungeon's hiding. Is it up here? Nope. <laughs> Where are you, my door? Where are you? I need you, door. Oh, I will say, um, I've been working on some music and, oh boy, it's, it's still very, very hard. It's a lot of work. I, I completely underestimate how much work it takes to make music, so... I have nothing yet to show. I have a little bit to show, but it's not... Sorry, I have a little bit that can be showed, but I prefer to build more on it and have it a bit closer to fully produce rather than just sharing a bunch of scraps so early on that it's like, oh, what if I want to change it? It's going to set some weird expectations and also, uh, it might just sound trash. Who knows? Is this the stairs in the weapon shop? Is, is that really it? Oh, it was. How did you get in here? I'm just a retired shopkeeper. <laughs> he's, he's, he's literally here. <laughs> so, rip the king. He's just chilling here. Uh, okay. So, in that case, uh, where's the... Oh. So I think actually it was the um the bit where we used the seal is actually uh was it actually in What was it exactly?
Oh, it was, um... Yeah, it was, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember. I think I remember. Maybe. <laughs> it's always this for me. It's like, yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know my commentary is currently like trash right now. I'm just like, yeah, is that, is that what I'm thinking of? And I think this is it. So yeah, the we need to go back to the southeast. back at this shrine. Oops. Not this one. <laughs> ah. More slugs. My favorite. I love slugs. I, 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 if I love them so much, just marry them. It is kind of weird though, I guess, that like, even though that the first game is recreated to scale, like, every single tile is in the right place, the only actual, like, places to visit is the castle, the endgame castle, uh, for some reason the tunnel, it's just like here, and uh, this shrine. There we go. So if we head down here, and th this is where the war was. I waited so long for this! For brave Lotto's children to come! To you, I present Lotto's helmet! It's a very, very nice. We have another piece of the ancient Lotto armor. In fact, actually, we can probably just equip it, can't we? Oh, and, and the wrong person is holding on to it. Nice. Okay, well, probably just pass the war point on. <laughs> You don't get to use it. You can't equip it. Na 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 na. Look at that. High amounts of defense. Very, very nice. Uh, of course, best helmet in the game. Um, and to be fair as well, there's only two helmets. It's the Iron Helmet and uh, that. There is... Actually, uh, there is also a Rare Drop Helmet, which anyone can equip. Um, so it's particularly useful for... Well, pretty much the other characters who don't get helmets otherwise. Um, I think you can actually buy it as well from somewhere. Maybe in the next town. But, uh, like every good thing in this game, it's not cheap. You know how it do be. So we're nearly done, we'll just... Maybe, maybe Art will get a level. Maybe. And we'll sail down to that one little town there. very gradually as I have to fight slimes over and over and over again. Oh, sorry, uh, slugs, not slimes. I'm actually going to sail up northwest and kind of loop back around and get to the place. Just trying to think, where do I save around there? Because I didn't find a save anywhere. Like, I'm actually curious, who is a save point around there? Maybe I just go to the warps. I'll try to figure out which warp was the um, one that leads back to the start again. Or I'll just sail up north again. Or south and around. Yeah, probably that. Other than that, I mean, I guess it's just, you know, we find the two remaining crests. We've got most of what we need. Um, 
the two remaining crests still involve uh, some dungeons, so it's not just as easy as finding a weird person walled off. Um, and uh, then it's a trek to the end of the game, which I might just be uh, super underleveled, because uh, for reference, um, yes, yeah, so the main character can get to level 50. Uh, I'm level 18. <laughs> I am nowhere near level 15. Oh, I can say we're here, actually. Never mind. That's probably a good place to save. Uh, and, and of course, uh, the other characters are even lower level. But again, it's just, the total experience all caps around the same point, so it doesn't really matter that the other characters are supposedly lower level. But still, it's just like, oh, okay. Man, there's a lot of encounters, though. You gotta sail around and... Find a lot of dudes. Okay, so, yep. Okay, hit that. We're gonna sail north. We're gonna awkwardly come across this little tiny island. Like that. And we go right around it. We should immediately find... the little tiny town that I wanted to get to. There we go. And I didn't hit the level, by the way. Or did I? No, yeah. This is 29805, so maybe we'll actually just grind around just a tiny little bit, because he's right there. He's he's right there. I'm gonna level up. There's a hawk! Ah. Unless it was level 18, in which case, whoops. He's, he's pretty far out from level 18. We're gonna have, like, Big groups of enemies here, or nah, it's just gonna be singular hawk, singular tree. I mean, I don't mind beating up a tree, but I needed like 200 experience, and uh, single trees are uh, get a bit. <laughs> oh, here's my chance. Okay, <laughs> I was like, here's my chance to just suddenly get a ton of experience. Although a thousand isn't, like, a ton at this point, is it? Yeah, it is weird that they're only spawning, like, one enemy at a time. Goodbye, Hawk. Still not- still not leveled yet. Hold on, we're getting there. We're almost there. Imagine turning into a zombie and the only thing you can say is fork. There you go. So what does he get? He gets... Step Guard. Step Guard is exactly the spell you need in order to walk over these things. Which may or may not have never been a problem until just this one. So I think we can cast Step Guard. And allows you to walk onto these and not take damage. You can wander into here and grab yourself the Holy Loom. This is an important item, we needed this. And also you will take damage again from the thing, unless you cast it again. There's also another door over here with the very elusive... a wizard ring. You know, in case you needed more. Which is actually kind of nice, because you never know, you might need it. I love how I have a repel and I've just not been using it. Like, I. I could probably use it to just get home really quick, can't I? Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the long, you know, picking up everything that's outside here. Um, and yeah, no, we're all set, so let's use the repel. Let's see if I can sail all the way home. What part of. I'm. I guess I'm too low level. I'm too low level, man. Or alternatively, I'm used to repel and now I'm fighting only strong enemies. That's a reversal of fate, isn't it? Yep, 
Yeah, they attack twice, which is a bit mean, but don't worry, I've got the bolt. Oh my gosh, it's actually a bolt! Whoa! Nice, that was the perfect amount of damage to kill Art. Well, I mean, you might as well go back and restore the church, right? You know, the church. Do we have a church in here? <laughs> Maybe that- oh, that lady must have been a church. Hi. No, you're the church! Who's the church here? <laughs> You're telling me no one is a church. Maybe he's upstairs. No? I don't think there was a church. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna need to pick up the leaf of Yggdrasil on the way then. Dang it! Or just I'll turn it over, we'll just sail right there. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll try again. We'll sail that way again. Gosh. Okay, we're fleeing. I'm fleeing, man. Ah. Cause he's vampirous with a double hit. Very mean. Oh, wait. This is, uh, this is bad news bears. This is bad news bears, casually. The repel was the worst thing, apparently. Don't worry, I've got a repellent. Can I use the, the world map while it's in a dead person's- yep, I can't. Uh... Wow, that's a really short repel. That's a double short repel, wow! Okay. We're almost there, we're almost there. Ah. Lost the mountains. I could probably run away from this fight. <laughs> eventually. Eventually. That's the problem with the main character, you can't attack groups. We don't have boomerangs in this game yet. Or whips. Alright, we did it. We didn't- we didn't completely cop it. I didn't completely cop it. Nice. I mean, I can say it, but I, I especially want to make sure the party is all all fine just before I go to, go go to sleep. Goodbye, money. I knew thee well. And we go to the. To the inn, sleep in. But I feel like that was a very productive stream. We got, we went through a big lighthouse. Uh, you know, picked up three of the crests, picked up a ton of other items, including basically all the the ancient lotto gear, and. Uh, at the end of it, uh... Got a pretty straight stretch to the end of the game now, so that's all cool. So anyway, with that, I would like to thank you all so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, or you didn't enjoy the stream, or whatever, you can follow on Twitch, where I, uh, stream every week on Monday, 8.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, if you miss any bit of it, uh, you can go on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, you can hit subscribe, where you see the VODs. That's about it. That's, that's really all it is. Uh, you can also follow me at uh, m.vandale.com on Pleroma, uh, or, or 
Mastodon or whatever you, you use. It's all uh, Activity Pub. It's just if you follow an Activity Pub, you can find me there. So that's all good. Um, where I'll say sometimes random stuff or silly stuff. Who knows? Um, and uh, yeah, no, that's all. That's all good. I might be beating this game next week. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Because uh, it, it depends on how much grinding is necessary. That's one thing I I remember doing a ton of grinding on the NES version. So I hope that this Game Boy version doesn't need it. But we'll see. We'll see. So thanks everyone. See you all. Peace.